Okay, okay. Blessed evening, blessed, um, not evening, morning. Blessed morning to everybody um, around the world, wherever you're tuning in from, wherever you're going to catch up from, is um, I have realized that it has become a culture that people will always go and catch up on what we um, will have been talking about. I'm excited to be back again uh, in front of you. Uh, very excited to be back once again by the special grace of God. Um, I pray that um, after this day, your life does not remain the same again in the mighty progressive name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Um, as we are back again, we are continuing with prayer. We are continuing with prayer. But um, just for five minutes, as um, you are sharing this live stream, um, as you are sharing the live stream, um, I just want you to share, share with somebody. Uh, just click that share button. Click that share button. Share with somebody, share with a brother, share with a sister, share with a friend. Just click the share button. Um, there is something that I'm going to be talking about from tomorrow so that I don't have to be mixing certain topics because I have been receiving so many calls from people saying, men of God, uh, some of these things that you are teaching uh, during prayer, we feel like they are way deeper than what you say when you are um, talking about these things during our prayer time. So please uh, try by all means to um, at least um, spread just try by all means to spread this word, spread this word, spread this word, and give it to us in details without leaving out certain things. So I've decided from tomorrow at 9 p.m. So I'll be coming at 9 p.m. And then in the evening, we come back for our morning prayers that we do on a daily basis. You know, when prayer becomes your... Um, your lifestyle, you don't battle to pray. You don't have any challenges when it um, when it comes to praying, you know. Uh, we are going to pray this morning. We are going to pray. We are going to pray um, by the special grace of God. We are going to pray. Please click that share button. Click that share button. Click that share button. Click that share button. So um, from tomorrow, I'll be talking about... Um, there is a poster actually, you know, I almost posted um, that poster today. I almost released that poster today because um, I was itching with um, the calls that I've been receiving from people. Uh, from tomorrow, I'll be talking about the system. The system. Uh, just for five minutes before we pray. The system is the one that runs this world. Whether you are a Christian, you are a Muslim, you are an Antichrist, or what you are, there is a system that runs all of us. You know, the system is not a respecter of any religion. The system is not a respecter of anybody. The system has got no, does not put value on any person. The system is a very wicked thing that controls and runs the entire world. Our day-to-day -day lives are shaped by the system. I was sharing with the guys, um, I was sharing with you with you guys this afternoon, uh, it was this evening, right? Yeah, this evening. Yeah, this evening. And I was saying that um, I remember uh, some years ago, years ago when I was still a little boy, um, I was in Botswana. I was in Botswana in a place, in, in a place called uh, Molepolule, uh, very young. And I was working as a laborer. I was working as a laborer. You know the one uh, in Zimbabwe, we call him a Dakar boy. I was working as a Dakar boy. You know, when I was sharing it to these guys, they laughed so hard and they were like, no, man of God, it can't be you. Yes, it can be me. It does not look like me. It is definitely far from me. 
That is why it is a testimony today. But that is where I am coming from by the grace of God. I was working and working and working and working and working. Now, I realized that the laborer is the one who seems to do most of the work. The laborer does all the hard work. Then the manager, the manager, or rather, let me say, before the manager, there's the, uh, the, there's the foreman. The foreman is there, then, the, 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 then there's the manager. Then there's the one who is the entire project manager, the one running everything. I asked myself and I said, why is it that the manager who sits in the office gets paid more than the laborer who is working in the field? I remember during those days as laborers, we used to receive, I think it was maybe about 15 pula a day. Yes, it was about 15 pula a day or even less, maybe 10 to 12, 15 pula somewhere there. Something that was so little that if you calculate it, you know, during the month end, maybe you'll be talking about around 3,000 pula or somewhere there. But the manager's um, a, a, a pay slip will definitely mesmerize your mind. You realize that you are getting paid so little, yet you are doing the most work. But the manager gets paid so much, yet it seems as if he's always sitting in the office. I get, I got to understood why. I got to understand the reason why. And I'm going to share it with you right now before we pray. I was saying it to these guys this, uh, this evening, and I was saying, thinking, is one of the most difficult things. One of the most difficult things to do in Africa. Many African brothers and sisters are so lazy to think. Many brothers and sisters in Africa are so slow to think. Why? Because the system conditioned you not to think. Because when you think, you begin to ask the right questions. So the system makes it a point that it enslaves you. So the only thing you think about when you wake up in the morning is to work hard. The only thing that comes to your mind every day when you wake up in the morning, it is to think hard. It, 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 it is to work hard. So you are not trained from a young age to be a thinker, but you are trained to be a hard worker. The system is the one that made you to be like that. That is why we have to go to school. As we are going to school, we are going to school to be conditioned. To be conditioned so that we can be part of the system. I was explaining it the other day and I was saying that life is a number. Everything is a number. That is why the day that you were born, you were given a birth certificate. A birth certificate is to, that is the first registration that you do as an infant in every country under the sun. It is the first registration that you do. It is a, oh my God, it is an announcement of your presence as a child that you are now part of the system. You are being added to the system. You grow up, for you to do certain things, you now require an ID. You cannot do certain things without an ID. So the system already conditions you that from this age to this age, you only use an ID. And then when you need an ID, you now need an O-level certificate. From O-level, you need an A-level. From an A-level, you need... So the system is the one conditioning you. That at A-level, maybe you'll be around 14 years or 15 years. The only thing you must be thinking about is to pass the next exam. If you go to China today, there are children, five, six-year-old, seven, eight-year-old, who are taught from a young age they're already making computers they're already making all these toys yet in africa where our children are being taught how to uh, describe a locust it is because the system is conditioning us to always think within the box that is why the most greatest people under the sun are those who sit down and they decided that I'm going to think outside the box. Because the more you think inside the box, the more you are part of the system. So what does the system want you to do? The system wants you to become a slave. If you go to South Africa today, 50% of South Africans don't own the houses they live in. They don't own the cars that they drive. 
even for the clothes that they have to buy in a clothing shop, they don't own fully all those clothes that they wear. Do you know why? Because there is a credit system in South Africa that once you are part of the system, the system now borrows you money to live between now and the next paycheck. Where the system makes it a point, it's so difficult to get a bond. It's so difficult to get a bond. Once you now want to establish bigger things, the system requires bigger uh, 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 things as well to uh, 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 to apply. I, I pray for so many people saying, man of God, my house is about to be repossessed. And you ask the person, what do you mean? And they say, I'm not yet done paying for it. They don't care how much I've paid already. They're taking the house to the auction. The system has conditioned you to be enslaved. How does this happen? It mostly happens when the system decides to spit you out. What do I mean when I say the uh, system decides to spit you out? <laughs> I don't know if I'm, I'm, I'm saying something that is going to help somebody here. <laughs> oh my goodness. You know, I bleed on a daily basis for my, for my, for my, for my African people. I, I, I cry on a daily basis because most of the people that we see are people who live from hand to mouth in Africa. The system has conditioned you that living from hand to mouth is normal. Having a nine to five job is normal. Once you become a businessman, the system frustrates you. What is the system? Many people think the system is the government. The system is bigger than the government. <laughs> These are revelations that you don't just get. They don't just come. The system is bigger than the government. Let me, let, let, let me give you a very good example. Uh, do you know why Zimbabwe was put on sanctions? Do you know why Zimbabwe was put on sanctions? No. Do you know? You don't know? Don't. This thing goes all the way back. All the way back. There are certain things that the president of the First Republic was not willing to compromise. There are certain things that the president of the First Republic was not willing to compromise at any point. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. I'll tell you something about Zambia. Right now in Zambia, um, they just passed, a, I think it's a gay right uh, something. Immediately after that uh, gay, right, uh, uh, gay right law or whatever they call it was passed in Zambia, that it is now legal for sex, uh, 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 for, 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 for there to be same-sex marriage. It is legal for men to marry a man. It is legal for women to marry a woman. The kind of money that was thrown into Zambia, you go to Zambia today, Zambia looks like South Africa. Zambia is getting developed in a way that will surprise you. But if you look deeper, deeper with an eye of the spirit, what is happening in Zambia, the money that is coming is not because Zambia has done something good for the Zambian people. It is because Zambia has decided to compromise something so that it can submit to the system. So the system is bigger than the government. So the system is the one that actually controls the government. And the system is of the devil. <laughs> there are those who have remained and they have refused to compromise. In Zimbabwe right now, you, you, you don't talk about those things. When our president, uh, our comrade um, uh, uh, Idim Nangagwa, was asked about this subject, he made it very clear what this country stands for, where we are coming from, where we are, and where we are going. But once there is compromise, the system will always frustrate you as an individual as a city, as a country, as a group, as a person, the system will frustrate you until you bow. It goes way back to the book of Daniel. Daniel was put in the lion's den because he refused to compromise. He refused to bow down to the system. I don't know if I'm talking to somebody right here. Mr. Shadrach and Abednego, the Bible says they were put in the fire. 
and the fire was increased seven by seven times. They kept on increasing the fire. They kept on increasing the heat of the fire. But one thing that I love about the trio is that they remained in the fire. They said, you can put us in the fire. We don't care how we're going to burn in this fire. I love what those three men did as they were there in the fire. The Bible says, there is, you know, there is a statement that they say. The Bible says, and then they said, even if our God does not hear our prayer, even if our God does not answer us today, even if our God does not give us a response in this fire, we will not bow to the system. We will not bow to the system. We will not bow. No matter how much you can go, we shall not compromise. I'm looking for a generation this morning. I'm looking for a generation this morning that is not willing to compromise, that is not willing to bow, that is not willing to go according to the system. Because the system is of the devil. I don't know if I'm talking to somebody right here. That is why if you try to rise up in Africa, it is another African brother who's going to bring you down. If you try to make it in Africa, it is another African brother who is going to bring you down. This is a pandemic that we have on our African continent. But I'm looking for people this after. Oh my goodness. I'm looking for people this morning who are saying, men of God, we have not compromised. We shall not compromise. No matter what the devil can throw, we shall not compromise. No matter how we can be frustrated, we shall not compromise. No matter what can come our way, we shall not compromise our faith. Yes. We shall not compromise. Yes. I'm looking for a generation this morning that is saying, men of God, I hear you and I hear you very well. We are living in a very demonic system. We are living in a very dangerous system where for you to get everything in this system, it looks like you have to compromise. That is why we are waking up around these mid hours of the night where everybody else is sleeping because we do not want to compromise. We want to rise above the system. We want to operate above the system. We shall not sleep. But when others sleep, the Bible says, while men slept, the enemy came. While men slept, the enemy came. There is something that happens when men are sleeping. I know some people right now, they are sleeping wherever they are. I know some people right now are already in their blankets. They are feeling the comfort of their blankets. They are feeling the warmth of their blankets. They are feeling the warmth of their heaters. They are feeling the coolness of their echoes. But we decided at this hour, we are going to stand up and we are going to rise. We are going to rise and become intercessors. We are going to rise and intercede. We shall intercede for nations. We shall not only intercede for Zimbabwe. We shall intercede for nations. You know, there is something that happens when it comes to the system. You go back to the COVID times. COVID, when, before COVID started, God told me that there is something that is coming. Whatever that is coming, it is not a disease. But this is a seed of the enemy that they are planting to change the status quo of their system. There are certain things that they wanted to change in the system. So they had to bring a pandemic. If they tell you, can you please stay at home for so and so days because there is something that we want to do, you will, you will not even accept it. You will take it to the streets as Africans. Americans, African Americans in America, they will take you to the street and they will, uh, uh, they will protest. And they decided we are going to give them a pandemic. We are going to give them a disease. It is the system controlling its subjects. It is the system controlling those who are living under the system. And COVID came. You know, it was when COVID came that you could really realize that things are changing. Even the churches had to close down. Even the hospitals, you don't understand the depth of this thing. The hospitals where everybody is supposed to be healed, 
They made it, oh my goodness, they rendered even the hospitals useless because they knew what they were doing. When I say they, I'm talking about the system. And the system is not the government. These things that I'm talking about here, I want you to hear what I'm saying right now. I want you to hear what I'm saying right now. There is something that is coming. There is something that is coming. I'm not talking about a pandemic. Yes. Let me break it down to you before we pray. The system has a way of controlling each and every generation. Kalama Santa. Let me take you back. Back in the days, we used to write love letters. Do you know that you used to sit down and write a love letter? You used to sit down and write a love letter. You used to sit down, you write a love letter, take it to the post office. Wait for two days before the love letter arrives. You used to sit down and do that. Three, four days waiting for the arrival of the love letter. One week waiting for a response from your lover who is in a different city. The system began to change. The system began to change. Do you know one thing that the church never did? The church never realized that there are certain prayers that we need to engage. There are certain gears that we now need to engage because the way the system is going, it looks as if the system is now more sophisticated than the church. That is why anybody who tries to predict what they are doing, that person becomes an enemy. Do you know that Prophet T.B. Joshua's uh, 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 YouTube account was taken down just before he died? It was because of the influence that they saw. They saw that this man is becoming so influential across the world. They saw that this man is becoming so influential that he can now influence people to revolt against the system. That is what the system does. And his YouTube account was taken down. There is a man in America by the name of Andrew Tate. Andrew Tate came some few years ago and he began to speak from lockdown. He was talking about the pandemic. He was talking about the politics. He was talking about the economics. He was talking about the education and talking about all these things. And what did the system do? The system crippled him because you are supposed to remain sleeping. You are never supposed to wake up as an African child. Do you know why Africa is called the sleeping giant? Son, do you understand what I'm trying to explain in this place? Do you know why Africa is called the sleeping giant today? Africa is called the sleeping giant. It is a giant that is sleeping. Anybody who tries to wake up the giant, the giant wakes up with so much anger that it attacks even the one who is trying to wake it up. To say, wake up, Mr. Giant. That is the mindset of African people. You try to fight for Africans. Africans will always fight anyone who tries to open their eyes because they've been taught. It is always about the system. Prophets are fought because they don't operate by the system. The church is being fought today. Have you ever asked yourself that with all these years that the Roman Catholic Church has been in existence, why is it that you hardly hear any scandal coming out of Roman Catholic? Is it because Roman Catholic does not have any scandals? Is it because Roman Catholic does not have any... You mean Roman Catholic is so pure that there are no scandals that are ever coming out of that place? It is a system. Everything is controlled. They are the system. Roman Catholic, they are the system. Oh yeah, Mashaka Baba Baba. You don't understand what I'm trying to say here. They are the system. Not Roman Catholic Church per se. But I'm going to break it down further until you get it in your mind. Somebody's already wondering what's happening on this platform today. I'm here to talk to some walk Christians. I'm not here to talk to the sleeping Christians. Oh, yes. I'm here to talk to some walk Christians who are going to advance the way that technology is advancing. Oh, yes. Do you know that if you go to Cape Town today, son, do yes. you know if you go to Cape Town today, uh -huh. there is a hotel in Cape Town called the Sky Hotel. All right. That hotel is one of the most beautiful hotels in Cape Town, although there's many other beautiful ones, but right now it is the most beautiful hotel in Cape Town. Yes. 
That hotel, once you walk in by the door, there is a robot that waits for you. It senses your motion as you arrive and it greets you as soon as you arrive and you stand before it. It senses you. Do you realize where the system is taking all this? Because the robot, very soon the robot is supposed to replace the human being. You don't realize what is coming. <laughs> Do you know that? Uh, 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 do you know that if you go on the internet right now, go on YouTube, they are already interviewing robots. Not that there is somebody speaking within the, uh, the, 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 the machine. No, the robot itself is conditioned that the next generation of the robots is a generation that the enemy has put, that the entire humanity is supposed to be wiped out from Earth. It is not coming the way that you think. The Antichrist is not coming the way that you think is going to come. <laughs> Antichrist is a combination of two words, anti and Christ. Antichrist is not going to be some beast and some animal that is going to come looking so scary. Antichrist is a word that can be broken down in two words. It is anti and Christ. So anyone who shall stand Antichrist is already is already the beast anyone who shall not honor respect or bow before the deity of jesus christ is antichrist anyone who denies the existence of jesus is antichrist anyone who denies the uh, uh, divinity of jesus is antichrist anyone who does not oh my god i don't know how to put it did you realize that Antichrist is not some animal that you are waiting for? My God. <laughs> Anybody who shall come. That is why the Bible says, beware, for in the end times, they shall preach another Jesus. Meaning to say there is a Jesus that is going to be preached and people are going to receive. I don't want to go I, I don't want to take you too deep but the system is so wicked that you are so frustrated by the system until you bow before it go and listen to the musicians when they speak in america go and listen to kanye west kanye west says i refused to bow and they made me look like i'm crazy they can do that there are conspiracy uh, 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 theories that I'm going to bring to you one of the days to come and read for you. These are things, I'm having a very intelligent conversation right now. This one is for the walk people. Those who have uh, uh, reached a certain level in life of realizing that there is a certain power that operates above the power. Mm -hmm. There are conspiracy theories right now. I read one of the statements. It said, we shall make them realize the importance of not thinking anyone who is going to catch one of these secrets and begin to think we shall turn him against his own people and they will begin that and they will begin to think that he is crazy so the system can make you look crazy because you're talking about crazy things imagine trying to sit down in uh, 1985 and telling people that you can be sitting in front of a, there is going to be a time where the whole world is going to be so confined to a device and the device is so small that a, one person can sit in front of a device and address many other hundreds of people, even in different countries, right at the same time, accepting and receiving the same message at the same time, at the same place. Do you realize that that person was going to be deemed crazy? Now oh, you are not understanding where I'm trying to take you. I'm taking you to a place of enlightenment. I want you to be enlightened. Oh, yes. Stop thinking that you're just going to make it by waking up in the morning and doing what the system says you must do. Do you know that if tomorrow morning the system decides that no one must go to school for three days, you will not go to school. It's either they'll give you a disease to scare you or they'll give you soldiers to scare you. But the system is not the government. Zimbabwe has refused to bow. 
Somebody said to me the other day, men of God, why is it that things are, are so difficult in Zimbabwe and in my country in South Africa, things are good? I said, it's because you guys have vowed. It's because you guys are subjects of the system. It's because everything that happens in your country is, is, is controlled by the system. The president is not controlled. Do you know why everybody hates Jacob Zuma in South Africa? I don't want to take it deep. Jacob Zuma still upholds the Ubuntu nature of a human being. He's still, I'm not supporting anybody, but I'm just saying. We are not going to bow. I'm looking for people who are saying, men of God, we are waiting for the fourth man to appear. We don't know when the fourth man shall appear. But we will not bow. We shall enter the fire, we will not bow. Do you know that when you are fired at your workplace, they put a bad recommendation so that the next, the next subject of the same system, when they look at your name, they will see what the other person wrote about you. Some of you are not, were not fired because of witchcraft. Some of you were fired because somebody put a bad recommendation about you at your workplace. I'm talking about the system, the power of the system. Today you are unemployed wherever you are because somebody put a bad recommendation about your name. There is something called Airbnb. If you go on Airbnb, you just go and you click, you can leave a comment. You can comment and say, this house, I don't like it because it is very dirty. When the next client wants to come and buy the same place, they will look at the comments and the recommendation and they will skip your place and go to the next one. This is how the system operates. Do you know that you are not suffering simply because you are supposed to be suffering? You are suffering because the system spit you out one way or the other. There is a day that you woke up in the morning, you were trying to be too good in a way that the system would not allow you. And they made you the enemy, but you know that you were still innocent. Today I want to talk to you this. Uh, I want to talk to you this morning. Makata ba 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 ba. I want to talk to you this morning. Some of you were fired under unclear circumstances. It is the system that has fired you. For so many years you are sitting at home and you are wondering why am I not being employed? You are moving from prophet to prophet, looking for an answer, looking for a solution of why you are still suffering. Yet it is the system. That is holding your name and, 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 and claiming the rights of your entire being and saying when it comes to this one, you will never be employed in the next place. I'll tell you a story. There is this uh, young man who plays soccer, very brilliant young man by the name of Kama Billiard. Kama Billiard had a problem in South Africa uh, where he was playing soccer. He had a, pro he, um, he had a problem with his uh, club that he was, pray, uh, that he was uh, uh, playing for in South Africa. When he had a problem with his club, the problem was unsolved and, club, and the club rejected him. And when he was rejected by the club, he tried to go to all the other clubs, but his own clubs, his own club sent a message to all the other clubs saying that do not accept this young man. As talented as he is, as powerful as he is, is anointed, he can play until everybody jumps, but don't accept this one. Do you know that he was being given almost probably more than 500,000 runs in South Africa every month? He was probably earning around 850, somewhere there. By the time he left South Africa, they were going to offer him 500,000 and it was never resolved. He left South Africa. He left South Africa, he came back to Zimbabwe. And he got um, signed by Yada, that is owned by Prophet W. Magaya. And when he was signed, he is now the highest paid player in Zimbabwe. And he's being paid $5,000. If you take $5,000 and you put it into runs, do you know how much it is? It's probably about 100,000 runs. So he left all the way in that country coming here. Because the system had decided that he is not going to belong. So what do you do when the system has spit you out? What do you do when you are accused of things that you have not committed? What do you do when you are fired under unclear circumstances? That is why we are up around these hours of the night and we are commanding the morning. 
and saying while men slept we are not going to sleep yes we are going to rise up and we are going to stand yes. we are going to stand against the system oh, yes. the system cannot defeat jesus christ oh, yes. we serve a god oh, yes. they call him emmanuel yes. for god is with us they call him jesus the lily of the valley the shadow of death uh, oh my kabbalah babo shanto they call him the same yesterday, today, and forever. Even though I walk in the shadow of death, I will fear nothing because I know that I have Jesus on my side. Oh, yes. I'm looking for people this morning who are going to stand, who are going to stand up and say, Men of God, we are not willing to compromise. We are not willing to compromise. Yes. Andrew Takes in America was, do you know that he was taken off Twitter? He was taken off YouTube because everything is owned by the system. And when the system decides that your influence is beginning to open a lot of people's eyes, the system has a way of spitting you out. And when the system spits you out, when do you run to? Who do you run to for help? Because the only thing that you need to for you to survive is found within the system. That is why this morning we are waking up to pray. That is why this morning we are waking up to pray. And we are saying no matter what can happen, no matter how much we can be frustrated, we are not going to bow down before the system. Yes. Everything seems to be so well in South Africa. Do you know why? Because in South Africa, same-sex marriages are very much allowed. Do you know it has actually reached a certain stage in South Africa? that bishops are actually now married you find a man and a, a man marrying another man and the man is a bishop Michael. there's even people right now in south africa you find a man marrying a pastor and the pastor is marrying another man and the pastor is preaching in church you find all these things happening in south africa that is why there seems to be so much freedom you come back to zimbabwe it's, it, it, it looks like Things are hard in Zimbabwe. Things are difficult. Yes, it is the system frustrating Zimbabweans so that Zimbabwe can bow to the system and allow some of these things to come into the nation. Zimbabwe is a Christian nation. Zimbabwe is a nation that has got so many generals that God has raised right in this nation. Oh, yes. We have Apostle Ezekiel Guti. He came from this nation. Oh, yes. A general of God. Yes. Every country where generals of God come from, the enemy wants to render every work that they ever do to be useless oh, yes. by making it lawful. Because once everything is lawful, even as a church, you can't stand against it. Uh, the things that I'm speaking about this morning, you might you might think that maybe I'm coming from a different planet. <laughs> I'm talking about the system. The system will frustrate you. Frustrate you until we bow. My God. We don't want to bow down to the system. Oh, yes. We don't want to bow down before the system. But the system must bow down before us. Yes. I saw an interview between a certain journalist and um, uh, Pastor Kenneth Copeland. The journalist was asking so many questions and asking and saying, so how did you manage to buy this private jet, yet you are a pastor? He responded and he said, I pray. You see, when a man says, I pray, that answer sounds so light. But once you have a deeper revelation of the meaning of prayer, you realize that you can actually buy a mansion just from praying only. Oh, Kaba Santola Baba Bashaya. He said, I pray. When he says, I pray, he is trying to say, I discovered my purpose. Oh, yes. When I discovered my purpose, for this reason, which is only one, I lived my life. Let me ask somebody a question right now. Maybe let me start with you, son. Yes. Um, Jesus, his entire life, he was meant to come and die. What were you meant to come and do in this world? 
win souls for Jesus. What is your what, what is your sole purpose? What is your business that God gave you as an assignment? And this is something that God can never give to everybody. It's only for a selected few individuals. What did God say to you? To win souls for you. Save souls for you. So imagine when your assignment is to win souls and to save souls. And we find you at a taxi rank selling milk, selling milkshakes, selling yogurts, simply because your excuse is that you are trying to survive. The reason why you are still trying to survive is because you are still dependent on your own self. Once you start depending on God, you begin to give people questions. You begin to give people such kind of answers like this one. What do you do for a living? I pray. I pray for a living. That's all I do. My assignment is to preach. And each time I stop preaching, the enemy frustrates me until I start preaching. At times, God himself is the one who frustrates me until I come back to preach. So what is your purpose? As you are watching me right now, what is your purpose? What is it that God created you to come and do in this world? Jesus says, for this reason I was born. John the Baptist, for the reason that he came for, he was born. What about you? What can you tell us today? What can you look at us and say, for this reason I was born? What is your answer? You can't tell me that you are a manager at ESCOM for this reason you were born. No, who runs ESCOM? It's not your uncle. You can't tell me that because you are a regional manager at a certain big company, eh, eh, because of that, you are so big. No. The company does not belong to your uncle. The company has got an honor. So you are part of the system. What excites you is the salary. And the salary can only sustain you for a month. That is why you need your salary every month. And once you lose your job, so many people, once they lost their jobs, they started suffering. Because the system does not support anyone who is not doing anything. To receive a salary from the system. You didn't hear what I said. My God. That is why when you are fired and you no longer have a job, things become so hard. You can't even do nothing. So where do you run to when things are so hard? Because the system has spit you out. If I want to break it down and bring it down to the day-to-day -day life, the system says everybody must get married. What do I do after I got married and I was divorced? When the system says marriages are so beautiful and marriages are so good, but then the system kicks you out. What do you do when you come back from a failed marriage? Many people commit suicide. Who do you run to when things are bad? Many people end up killing themselves. When things become so bad because your entire surrounding and your entire environment has rejected you, even the land has decided to spit you out, how do you rise from such a season like that? I've encountered a season of darkness in my life. I've encountered a season where the system of church has entirely spit out J. Israel. Where the system of church had entirely said, J. Israel is a sinner. Nobody must be seen with J. Israel. Where the system of church had entirely said, it is finished about this man. But it only took the grace of God. The day that I decided that I'm not going to remain in this place where I am, where everybody is going to feel pity for me. I'm going to rise above the challenges. Whatever that the system throws at my face, I will rise above it. I will not look at all my challenges and all my problems as circumstances. I will look at them as stepping stones because I shall rise. I will rise above every challenge that comes my way. 
I will rise above whatever that the system throws my way. I will rise above it. I don't care what the enemy can say. I'm looking for somebody this morning who was saying, man of God, I shall rise above the system. Whatever the system says, I shall rise above it. I know that I've been rejected by the system, but I shall rise above it in the name of Jesus. I'm looking for somebody this morning who said I could have been sleeping, but I, I realized I have to be up. Can you hear what I'm talking about? In South Africa, there is a program that airs on TV where it is called X Repo. X Repo is a program where they bring cameras to your house just to come and repossess your car. It's when they bring cameras to your house just to come and take away your 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 your, your car from your house. The one who is funding these programs is not the people that you see on the screen. Those ones, they are just ponies that are being moved around like this. There is somebody who scripts everything for them before they come out. It is the system scaring everyone who has not paid their their their, their monthly bond for the car to go and pro and 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 and. and and uh, and uh, and what do you call it and pay for it the system controls everything everybody is controlled by the system that is why when you go to school they teach you that there is nothing called god but there's evolution I evolution where human beings evolved from a certain race where they were actually apes and they evolved until they were human beings where you hear of the Homo sapien sapien, Homo sapien, the Homo habilis, Homo erectus, Zinjanthropus, where you hear about all these evo the, 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 the evolution stages. And they are trying to tell us at school that we used to be baboons before. Before we were human beings. So you grow up in your mind. When you look at a baboon, you look at something that... <laughs> You look at something that is almost similar to you. When you look at a baboon, you look at something that looks like you. That is why when you look at a white person, a white person looks superior because they don't look like baboons. I've never seen a white baboon. I've never seen it. So you grow up in this, in this kind of a system where this is the information that you have in your head. And then on Sunday, you go, you sit in school. It is a Sunday school and you are sitting and the pastor is preaching and then John was swallowed by the fish. You're like, no, man, this is impossible. I, I, are you hearing how I'm uh, trying to explain the system? Where you are sitting there and the pastor says, John was swallowed by the fish for three days. You're like, never. According to science, how can John be swallowed? Eh? So in school, they teach you that everything that comes, everything that comes, you must question it to question it. So you end up going to church and you question everything in church. I don't know if I'm talking to somebody here. So if you don't question, you conform. And most of us conformed. We go to church. They tell us God is a white man, a very big one. And Jesus is a white man with blue eyes and brown hair. And this is the one that we worship. So when you grow up, you grow up in your mind. Thinking that each time you, 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 you kneel down, I'm telling you, this everybody who's watching me right now can attest to this. When you were growing up, each time, we, each time you would hear people saying, my prayer was answered by Jesus. In your mind, you think the one who answered the prayer is that white man that you saw in Roman Catholic, that white man that you saw in the picture, that white man that you saw in a certain movie, that white man that you saw online, that white man that you saw somewhere, somewhere, that white man that they taught you that he is. So in your mind already, when you see another white man, you look at them and say, they are from the a, 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 a tribe of Jesus Christ. And us black people, we are from the devil. Everything black is of the devil. Everything white is of God. So we, we grew up hating ourselves because of the conflicted information that we received at this stage, at this point, where we are now. I'm looking for people who are saying, men of God, I want to operate above the system just like you. I'm not in the system. I am no longer controlled by the system. There is something that has happened. 
something supernatural that God is in charge of. My day-to-day -day life is no longer ruled and run by the system. There is a divine order of the day that runs my day-to-day -day life. There's a divine order that comes from above on a day-to-day -day basis that when I wake up in the morning, I look at and I best my life on that. There is a certain way that my life is now set up. I've come to realize that the true self that I am, I am not just a nobody. I am not just a normal person, but I'm actually a king. I can be a king in the making, but I am a king with the mindset of a servant, with an understanding of what the servant needs. I don't know if I'm talking to somebody here. You see, these are things that when you begin to talk about in the body of Christ, people begin to say you have pride. But it's not because you have pride, it's because of what is called self-realization. When you realize that greater is him that is in me than the one that is in the world. I'm not talking about the white men they taught you about. There is Jesus. There is Jesus, the son of the living God. The one who was, who is, and who is to come. The one who sits right at the right hand of the Father. There is Jesus, the Son of the Most High God. In the book of Colossians, the Bible says, for Christ is the express image of an invisible God. When you see him, you have seen God. There is a certain man, one day I'll tell you about him. His name is Jesus. The Jesus I'm talking about is not the Jesus that has been paraded over the years. It is a Jesus from the place of divine order from the heavenly heavens. I don't know if I'm talking to somebody right here. I don't know if I'm communicating with somebody here. I'm here to talk about you are going to arise above the system in the mighty name of Jesus. You shall arise above the system. You shall not be controlled by the system. I said it the other day and I said, can you please explain to me a miracle? a miracle where somebody was not going to her periods for two years, but after prayer, the person saw her period. How do you explain that? If you explain it to the scientists who are subjects of this world, they look at it from their own way and they tell you it is practically wrong. It is practically impossible. It is definitely practically impossible for Jesus to die and rise on the third day. Because what is possible is for him to die and not come back again. What is possible is what Muhammad did. What is possible is what Buddha did. What is possible is what Hari and Krishna did. That is why everything about Jesus is impossible. That is why it looks impossible for God to be using J. Israel. It looks impossible for God to be using you as you are watching me right now. It looks impossible. But what looks impossible, what looks impossible is what is possible with this God. What has been deemed by the people that is impossible. Our God is the God of possibilities. Our God is the God of miracles. He's a God of signs and wonders. There are things that you cannot explain about this Jesus. There are things that you can never explain about this God that I'm talking about right here. How do you explain it that Moses looked at the sea, the entire Red Sea? I researched about the Red Sea and I wanted to understand how big was the, how big was the Red Sea. And I understood that by ship, it will probably take you over three months or close to five months for you to cross the Red Sea to the next destination, from Egypt to where they were going. It was going to take them approximately a year. If they were going to cross by a ship, but by a rod, Moses lifted a rod and he hit the sea and the sea opened. How do, how do you explain something like that to your children? How do you expect, how do you explain such a miracle where they are told that the Bible is just another story? How do you explain such things to your children 
when they are told by the system that God does not exist, what is more important and what you need for your future is science, and science does not agree to the existence of God. But for you to survive in this system, you need science. So for you to survive in this system, you end up becoming a Muslim, not because you want to be a Muslim, but because you want to be part of the Muslim system. For you to be, oh my goodness, I don't know if I'm talking to somebody right here. There are certain people who have compromised so many things simply because you wanted to fit into the system. Son, are you hearing what I'm saying here? Are you still there? Kaaba Santa, he's sleeping. <laughs> While men slept. Do you realize the impact that the system has on your day-to-day -day life? Now, how do you think you're going to make it? How do you think you're going to survive in this life? How do you think you're going to survive? What is your next solution? Because everything that you have tried, they are rejecting you because in the system you are reject. How then do you rise from such a place like that? This is how you are going to rise. And this is how we are going to do it. I want you to take out your Bible wherever you are. I want you to take out your Bible wherever you are. Well, if you don't have your Bible, it's still okay. I'm going to use my Bible right here. And I'm going to go to Psalms 51. As our daily ritual says, as you all know, to those who might not understand it, a ritual is simply something that you adapt and you decide to make it a daily thing. Because it's now a daily thing that you do on a daily basis. It becomes a ritual. That is what is called a ritual. So the word ritual, there's nothing demonic about it. So on this platform, on our daily ritual, we have got Psalms 51. Psalms 51 is a prayer that was prayed by David. Psalms 51 is a prayer that was prayed by David. When David prayed this prayer, Kaba Sata Baba Baba Santa. Le Kababa Saya. When David prayed this prayer, crying before the Lord, this is what David said. Have mercy on me. Have mercy upon me. Oh God. This was at the time when Nathan the prophet went to him. Just after the time he had gone in with Bathsheba. Just after the time that he had gone in with a certain woman and he committed adultery. That was the time that the prophet came unto him. And these were the words of David. Have mercy on me, O God. He did not say, have mercy to me. Have mercy on me, O prophet. He didn't say, have mercy on me, O father, at your church. He didn't, but he said, have mercy on me, O God. The issue about the message of God is personal. It's between you and your God. It's not between you and your pastor. It's not between you and your prophet. It's between you and your God. This is what David says. He realized that the issue of salvation is personal. The salvation matter is a personal issue. It has got nothing to do with my family, but it's a decision that I take for my own self. I decide what I'm going to become tomorrow. This is what David said. Have mercy on me, O oh God. Have mercy on me, O oh God, according to your loving kindness, according to the multitude of your tender mercies. Blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my transgressions and my sin is always before me. Against you, you only have I sinned and done this evil in your sight, that you may be found just when you speak and blameless when you judge. Behold, I was brought forth in iniquity, and in sin my mother conceived me. I'm a product of sin. I was born in sin. I was conceived in sin. I came out of my mother's womb in sin. This is what David is trying to say. But he's saying, Father, have mercy on me. Forgive me for what I have done today, because my action today has got something to do with my past. My action today has got something to do with the bloodline where I come from. Have mercy on me according to your loving kindness. As I came out of my mother's womb, whatever that is connected to my mother's womb, because there is a umbilical cord that was connected to my mother, and it had to be cut off by the doctors, 
And traditionally, there is something they do with the umbilical cord. There is something that connects you to where you come from. So David is saying, any generational sin, anything that connects me to my family, anything that is bad, that can come upon my life, that can come upon my life at this point of mercy. Father, have mercy on me, O oh God. Forgive me even from the first thing that I did when I was born. Forgive me from the first sin that I committed to the one that I'm committing now. Forgive me, O oh God. This is David praying this prayer. This is David praying this prayer. And he said in the verse 7, Pelt me with high soap, and I shall be clean. Pelt me with high soap, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear joy and gladness, that the bones you have broken may rejoice. Hide your face from my sins, and blot out all my iniquities, creating me a clean heart, creating me a clean heart, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast, them, do not cast me away from your presence and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and uphold me by your generous spirit. Then I will teach transgressors your ways and sinners shall be converted to you. Deliver me from the guilt of bloodshed from my family. This is a prayer for you. Deliver me. Deliver me, deliver me, deliver me from the guilt of bloodshed. Oh God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing only of your righteousness. My tongue shall only sing only of your righteousness. Oh Lord, open my lips and my mouth shall show forth your praise. Manta kalababa santa. Para kalababa saya. Manda kabasa kabababa babasa. Le be 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 be. Santo klara bababa sekete bababo saya. Ele manda bababa bababa sekete babo saka. Bela kata manda bababa shea. Thank you, Jesus. Have mercy upon me, O oh God. Have mercy upon me, O oh God. Have mercy upon me, O oh God. According to your loving kindness. According to your loving kindness. Have mercy on me, O oh God. Have mercy on me, O oh God. As I pray this morning, I pray for your mercy. In the name of Jesus, I pray for your mercy upon my life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Manteke bosata, mandala baba baba babosha, mekrala aklere dika baba baba santa, mendo la boa bosha kapala bahase, menda lida dosha la baba baba babosha, ronde le mende ki agada baba baba basaya, mendra da gida bosha santa, mandrata kala baba baba santa, le kala baba 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 siya, morianda la baka usanta bala baba basaya, le klara dosha lide besonta la mande, mande ke babosha kata la baba in the name of Jesus, have mercy on me, O oh God. Have mercy on me, O oh God. Every bloodshed, every sin of bloodshed, every sin of bloodshed, have mercy on me, O oh God. Every sin of bloodshed, have mercy on me, O oh God. Have mercy on me, Almighty oh God. Levrano shala bara baba 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 baba. Manda baba 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 katala mahasa. Leva zosa zaba katala bara baba usha. Mande re bosha katala mande. Mande ke bosha nda baba baba saya. Mande re baba baba bosha katala mande. Manda baba baba baba. He kala baba 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 ya. Randa baba 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 ya. He klara baba baba ya. Mando ro ro bosha katala baya. Mande bo 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 bosha ya. In the mighty in the name of Jesus. But I pray this morning, Le Baro Salamande, Mande Kebrantos Kalababa Santa, Levra Nos Kalide, Le Rende Babo Shaya, Mara Baba Baba Seke Terre Mende, Mande Kebo Santa Lamande. In the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, Father, we thank you. We thank you, Father, for your grace. We thank you for your mercy this morning. 
Thank you, Father, for your mercy on our lives, for your mercy on our lives, oh God. We have sinned before you, but your mercy is sufficient. Your grace is sufficient, oh God. Your grace is sufficient, oh God. Your grace is sufficient. Your grace is sufficient, oh God. Your, your, your grace is sufficient this morning. It is sufficient for me this morning. It is sufficient for me. Your grace is sufficient for me this morning in the name of Jesus. Your grace is sufficient for me, almighty God. The, suffi the sufficiency of your grace is enough for me. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you for the sufficiency of your grace. Thank you for your mercy this morning. We thank you, Holy Spirit of God. We thank you because you are God. We thank you because you are the almighty God. The same yesterday, today, and forever. We thank you because you are the alpha, the omega, the beginning and the end. We thank you, oh God. We thank you because you are the, oh my God. Le barata ba 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 shantala brantos ke ba 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 rosa la ba sonte ba la clara ekta ba ba landa ba ba kabala ba 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 saya. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. You are the lily of the valley. You are the rose of Sharon. Oh, yes, almighty God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You are the rose of Sharon, the fairest of them all. You are everything that my heart desires. You are fairer, Lord, much fairer than the lily that grows by the wayside. You are precious, most precious than gold. Sweet as Jesus, sweet Jesus, what a wonder you are. You are brighter than the morning stars. You are fairer, much fairer, than the lily that blows by the wayside. You are precious, most precious than gold. Thank you, Jesus. You are the rose of Sharon, the fairest of them all. Yes, you are everything that my heart desires. Oh, la ba santa, ba la Oh, yes, you are, you are fairer, much fairer than the lily that grows by the wayside. You are precious, most precious than gold. Oh, la ba ya ba ba ba, let your living waters flow over my soul. Let your Holy Spirit come and take control. In every situation, there is trouble on my mind. All my cares and burdens unto you, O oh my God. All my cares and burdens unto you, O oh my God. For Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Say, Father, we say, Father, oh, Father, we say, sing to the Father, say, Father, you are my Father, Father, oh, yeah, say, let your living waters flow by my soul let your holy spirit come and take control in every situation that is trouble on my mind all oh, my cares and burdens unto you oh my god father 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. You are a mighty God, the great I am. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You are a mighty God, the great I am. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We say Hallelujah. 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 There is a song that we sang on our all night prayer. It's a song, it's a hymn that I used to hear when I was growing up many, 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 many years ago. It's a hymn that I love so much. I'm going to teach you this hymn if you're not sure now. Dino Rambandi Chinamata. 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 Dino Rambandi Chinamata, 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 Dino Rambandi Chinama, Ini Dino Ramba, Ini Dino Ramba, Ini Dino Ramba. In Indi no ramba, in Indi no ramba ndi chinamata, dino 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 ramba ndi chinama, in Indi no ramba. Ini dino ramba o, ini dino ramba, ini dino ramba. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. This song says, no matter what happens, I will keep on praying. I will keep on praying. Gizo shala gitandaza, gizo shala gitandaza. Gizo shalangi tandaza, 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 gizo shalangi tandaza. Gizo shalangi tandaza, gizo shalangi tandaza, gizo shalangi tandaza, gizo shalangi tandaza, bicharamba ndi chinamata, bicharamba ndi chinamata, bicharamba ndi chinamata, bicharamba ndi chinamata. I will keep on praying, I will keep on praying. I will keep on praying. I will keep on praying. The charamba and the chinamata. The noramba 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 and the chinamata. Gizo shalangi tandaza, 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 no magunza ningi tandaza, no magunzi mangi tandaza. Magunzi mangi tandaza, when you get langi tandaza, when you get langi tandaza, Gonagunzi mangi tandaza, no magunzi mangi tandaza, no magunzi mangi tandaza, Gizota langi tandaza, Gizota langi tandaza, Gizota langi tandaza, Gizota langi tandaza. Gizo shalangi tandaza, gizo shalangi tandaza. Oh, bala, 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 bala. It's taking me way back when we were still in Bulawayo, the Ndebele speaking land. My God. And when we used to go up the mountains, 
and we used to pray. As young boys going up the mountain to pray, seeking the face of God, wanting God to talk to us during those days. Tonight, we are on a mountain. We are on a mountain this morning. Oh, yes. We are on a mountain this morning. Oh, yes. We are on a mountain this morning. Yes. It is a mountain of prayer. It is a mountain of prayer. We are going to pray. Oh, yes. Every mountain shall be made plain in our sight. Oh, yes. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, yes. We want to pray this morning that God is going to give us the grace. That God is going to give us the grace to overcome what is coming. Because what is coming is going to cause many people to compromise. Mm. Imagine they are talking about a chip that is coming. A chip that is going to be inserted in everyone's hand that you are going to use as a method of, of payment mm. in every shop that you enter. Imagine when that chip comes and that's the only way that you can survive the system. Many people think a time is coming that the Antichrist, if you don't have the mark of the beast, and then you are not going to, uh, 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 you're, you're, you're not going to do this. If you don't have the mark of the beast, the mark of the beast is not going to come written mark of the beast. The mark of the beast is going to come as your solution. Oh yes. Do you realize that right now the coronavirus came, and there are those who took the vaccine? Do you know the news circulating today that anyone who took the vaccine is actually on? danger than the one who never took the vaccine. So now the solution to the problem has become the problem to the solution. And you think that is normal. It is the system playing mind games, playing with everybody. And we conform because there is nothing we can do about it. We are looking for the days of Joshua. We are looking for the main, for, 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 we, we, we want those days, we want those days. He said the sun must stop. Oh, yes. The sun must stop. Moses said the earth must open. Mm -hmm. Elijah said fire must come down. Oh, yes. Moses said the water must open. Mm -hmm. Their voices were not echoes. Their voices were not echoes. Oh, yes. Their voices were not sounds. But their voices were authorities in the realms of the spirit. We raised this morning with our voices of authority. Oh, yes. Our voices shall carry authority. Oh, yes. I declare this morning, yes. my voice carries power. Oh, yes. My voice carries authority. Oh, yes. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh, yes. the system shall hear my voice. Oh, yes. The system shall bow to my voice oh, yes. in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. Whenever they hear my voice, oh, yes. they shall bow to my voice. Oh, yes. They shall bow to my voice. Oh, yes. Whenever they hear my voice, oh, yes. they shall bow to my voice oh, yes. in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, yes. I shall not be frustrated oh, yes. by the system. Oh, yes. I shall operate above the system oh, yes. in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, yes. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, yes. Miracles are our portion. Oh, yes. We are children of manna. Oh, yes. We eat manna from heaven. Oh, yes. It has to be a miracle. Oh, yes. It has to be a miracle. Oh, yes. Father, let there be a miracle oh, yes. in somebody's bank account. Oh, yes. Let there be a miracle oh, yes. in somebody's life. Oh, yes. Let there be a miracle oh, yes. in somebody's life. Oh, yes. Let there be a miracle oh, yes. in somebody's marriage. Oh, yes. Let there be a miracle oh, yes. in somebody's workplace. Let there be a miracle in somebody's ministry. Let there be a miracle in light world ministries. Let there be a miracle in light world ministries. Let there be a miracle. For a miracle is above the system. How do you explain something that is happening without trace? It's untraceable, but it has got evidence. Kala braka you can't trust it, but there is evidence for it. Oh, yes. We are going to operate like submarines. Oh, yes. Our movements are not going to be seen oh, yes. because we are children of light. Yes. We are the enlightened ones. Yes. We are the ones who carry the light. Oh, yes. We are the light of this world. Oh, yes. We are the salt of this world. Oh, yes. We are the salt of this world. Oh, yes. We are the salt oh, yes. of this world oh, yes. in the name of Jesus. We are the light of this world. In the mighty name of Jesus, yes. I want us to pray this morning. Yes. We are above the system. Yes. We are above the system. Above we lead and they follow. Yes. 
We lead and they follow. We lead and they follow. Brakanta ba 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 shaya. Mande kebo zanda la ba ba la ba ba shaya. Mengendele bo zanta la ba 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 zanta. Barado zala mando korobo shaya. Korobo zanta la ba 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 seketerele mende. Mende kende be sele ba bo shata la ba 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 shaya. Mandro dogo dogo chon sala bande. Mande kebo zali de elektron dele benda la ba 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 bo shaya. Mande kebo shata la ba 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 haso. Lera no zali da bo shata la mande. Mande kebo bo 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 santa. Lera ba 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 ba. Leron zan zan da la ba 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 shaya. Mengen dele bo shata ta la ba 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 bo sha. Rak la ramanda ba 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 ba. Santa, leka pa 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 rada ba 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 saya, lekende le ba 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 sheketele mende, mande ke rose le mende, la rose la mande, baraka totoro robo saya ba 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 saya, parino zali na bo sha, mende ke le bo santa, landra da ba 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 saya, maklere ede bo zala mande, mande re bo sha ta ba 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 haso, la rakemende be 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 saya, eko zala mande, mande de ke bo sa to la masaya para kanda la baba sa ka ta baba baba sa ma ka ta baba 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 ya e ke te ke te ke te ke te e pre ke de ke 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 re ke te men de ke be re de baba 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 sa le re mo sa la manda mande re bo sa la baba baba sa ya para ta la manda baba baba sa ya la la do se manda baba santo men do para ti ka baba 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 sa Parados In Jesus mighty name we pray. We shall not be frustrated by the system. Oh yes. We shall get money easy. Oh yes. And our money shall be a miracle. Oh yes. We shall get money easily. Yes. And our money shall be a miracle. Yes. We shall get money easily. Oh, yes. And our money shall become a miracle. Oh, yes. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, yes. Everything about us is a miracle. Oh, yes. Everything what we do is a miracle. Oh, yes. When we wake up in the morning is a miracle. Oh, yes. When we go to work is a miracle. Oh, yes. Everything shall be a miracle. Oh, yes. Even wherever you are employed, you shall very soon you shall have your own oh, yes. and begin to function above the system in the mighty name of Jesus. This is how I challenge myself on a daily basis. Uh, I look at those who have it. Mm. I don't hate. I learn. My God. I look at those who have walked the path. Jesus. I don't hate. I learn. Oh yes. I look at those who have gone ahead of me. My God. I don't hate their progress. Mm. I compliment their progress with so much happiness. Because those are lessons for me. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Wherever you are, oh, yes. wherever you are, oh, yes. wherever you are watching this from, oh, yes. wherever you are tuning in from, oh, yes. 
as we are praying together this morning i want you to hear this from me yes when men fall do not laugh oh yes it's a lesson for you it's a lesson for you when men fall do not laugh as long as you are willing to go up as long as you are fighting to go up as long as you are striving to go high don't laugh learn learn and make it your mistakes and make it the kind of mistakes that you are going to avoid those are your lessons as you are going up I don't know who I'm talking to this morning. I don't know who this message is for this morning. Do you know there is just a few people who are meant to make it in life? Oh yes. That is why there is a list of the most richest people in the world. It means that even the richest people in the world are supposed to be counted. And as long as they are counted, it must tell you that they are a few. Oh, yes. My God. There are few people who are supposed to make it in this world. A few people who are supposed to strive and make it. That is why the day you bought a car, it was a miracle to your family. Everybody asked the question, how did you do it? Because it never happens where you come from. It shall be a miracle in the name of Jesus. It shall be a miracle in the name of Jesus. It shall be a miracle in the name of Jesus. A miracle that shall shock the enemy. A miracle that shall shock your neighbor. A miracle that shall shock everybody around you. As I pray this morning, as I pray for you this morning, the doctors have said it's impossible. Oh my God. It is the system. Uh, trying to make you believe that it is over but there is a god in heaven oh yes there is a god in heaven oh yes there is a god who lives my god. there is a god who lives my god in this world yes. above this world yes there is a god who lives oh yes they said it's impossible they said you have got cancer my god. they said you are bleeding my god. they said you have got uh, migraine headaches they say there is witchcraft in your family. You've gone everywhere. It's not working. You have tried everything and it's not working. Right. Try God. Try God. Try God this morning. Uh, yes. Try God this morning. Try God this morning. Try God this morning. Try God. Try God this morning. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. 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 Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God, hallelujah, 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 makanaka, 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 mambo jesu. Tauraineni, 
La rose mende kele bara bata baba baba basaya. Mande basa kata baba seke bele mende lele busha. La rose le mende ke bara da baba 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 basanta. Maroko la busha ke te bele be 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 santa. Malaka basaya. Ola baba jaka ta baba 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 baba. In the name of Jesus, Mande ke bozata la baba santa, le la baba haso. Rada zubele gede in kadoze gedia. Raba baba 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 baba. Jaba la kazubele gede gia kada. Meka bala da ba 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 Santa. Mara la ba ba zozele mende mende kere boza la ba 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 saya le roze man zozele la ba hundred hundred gis galamandes mandre kete boza la mandos para kuna li de ba saya mere kende ba boza klara di boza la mandos mende kronza la vale ba bo saya male kele boza te mende ke Rakos kapa pa santa mala bara ba santa le rebo jale kere mando saba ba ya kala ba saya le brahazo kala mazo mazo zo kila bazo baranda ba 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 saya morindo jali da do saya in the mighty name of Jesus Father we pray this morning Father we pray this morning we take charge we take authority over the land. We take authority over cities. We take authority over lands. We take authority over nations. We take authority in the name of Jesus. We operate above the system. We take authority over this land. We take authority over nations in the mighty name of Jesus. You shall make it happen. You shall make it happen for us in the name of Jesus. In our lives, everything is a miracle. We live by miracle. We are born by a miracle. We are children of miracles. We are run by miracles. We follow miracles. We live by miracles. Our day-to-day life is a miracle. My job is a miracle. My calling is a miracle. My life is a miracle. My ministry is a miracle. My car is a miracle. My house is a miracle. Everything is a miracle. It's not by power. It's not by mighty, but it's by the Spirit of God. It's not by my own wisdom. It's not by my own knowledge. It is by the Spirit of God. I cannot explain it. I cannot control it. It is by the Spirit of God. We live above the system. In the mighty name of Jesus. Le rakandra da baba basanta meleke boja li de bosha mandre de gia gasola mande mandre ki dosa li da baya e karabasanta mandre de ke bosha la bahaso barakata la baba 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 basaya in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus just like me shake shadrak and a pet nico father we pray this morning just like me shake just like shadrak just like a bit they go. Father, we pray this morning. Father, we pray this morning. Father, we pray this morning. Just like Shadrach, Mishok, and Abednego. Levro shele manda kabaya. Mante keba rosa la mande. Mandrata kababa santa. Father, we pray this morning. Have mercy in the name of Jesus. We will not bow. We will not bow. The Bible says, even our God does not come for us, even our God does not rescue us, we will not bow, we will not bow, we shall not bow to the system, we shall not bow to the system. Manda baba kalabara baba basaya, lebra nosa kila dosa la mande, ele rota la bela kasso, ele bahasso, 
Manzanza Vavava de Babosa Kele Mendes, Eclara Hide Bosa Lamande, Mandre Tequida Gebosa Lida, Librosa Bose Kebarosa La Bahaso, Ligla da Baba 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 Lekle rosa vale mandika dosa mandra da kida bosa la de baya e krono gos ke ve 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 desa mandre ve ve kadosa be amande mande ke bayantos kafahate le razo se le baya mando se ve ke mahaso le baraka ba 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 le rando sa paradika daya mandra da kabadaya be la ba la ba ba saya le rana ya mana ma 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 Le ronze me 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 le crown de le mendes parek le re edouza la bara ba 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 ya mara kouze barouza la ba hasso le crown de bebe bosa katamande in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, God. Let your living waters flow over my soul. Let your Holy Spirit come and take control in every situation that is trouble on my mind. All oh, my cares and burdens unto you my lord jesus oh yeah jesus jesus oh jesus mapakala bada baba basaya oh say give it to the father say father oh yes father Father, O Salabata Kaba Baba Basanta, Makata Lamba Sata Kaba Baba Daba Basaya. Thank you, Jesus. Male Kaba Basanta Skebrante, Mende Kebra Doze Belle Kema Santa, Paradise Ventes Kebaroze Mando Kabala Basaya. Mary Close Mende Ke Braza Vata La Bahaya. Parra Goze Mandes Kevala Mande Bebe 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 Bebe. Levra Taka Baba 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 Santa. Mande Ke Brozanta La Mande. Mandro de Beka Basanta. Balak Leva Rose Baya. Manda Kabaya Berra Tika Baba 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 Santa. Parra Noja Mendes. Mende Ke Barra Baba 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 Baya. Malaka Baba Basanta. Le para doce para que ama sonte, mande que bala baba 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 ya, le broca tama suje bebedesa, le kaya mas santo, menga nga baba bala kataba ya, oya cosa bebe masabe ya katele bede, mengele bede cosa brado sa que vanaya, esaya voza que madaya, lele mas sonte que baroya, le broce mendes que blontes para doce. Mela clavaro be 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 Santa, manda baba la baba 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 baba. Mara kaba Santa, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we thank you. Lebron de mante ke bara ba Santa, lebra katamande mande ke baroja, labranta kaba Santa, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father, for the grace. Thank you, Father, for the grace. Thank you, Father, for the light. Thank you, Father, for the light, for the light shall shine. The light is shining. The light is shining. The light is shining. The light is shining. Let there be light. 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 Light in my ministry. Light in light world. Light in light world. In the mighty name of Jesus, I speak light. I speak light. I speak light, I speak light, I speak light, I speak light, 
I speak light. I speak light. I speak light in the name of Jesus. Paradosha prakatoko toko toko shanta. Mendra katala mande bado shatala bahaso. Membranda la babosia. Mariendes ke barosa la mande. Mandre ke de bado salamahaso. Mare ke basonta. Morikala baba 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 babosha. Metla radosa la mande. Eklara basanta. Paradosa la mante. Mante ke bosa la mahase. Peradosa le mende. Mendele kia kosa, kosa la mande, rontele mande, skeba rosa la bahaso. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Kala masaya. Ela basonto para duje baya kimasata. Is your phone working? Yes. Can I borrow it so that I can just... We just want to... We just want to pray. With those that are watching from wherever they are watching from oh, yes. i just want to pray together with them yes. i don't know your name i don't know where you're tuning in from i don't know what you want god to do for you today i don't know that which you are crying about yes. i don't know that which you are believing god for this morning yes. i don't know that which you are saying father this is my portion I don't know the disappointments that you have been through. Oh, yes. I don't know the kind, of, the, 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 the kind of trials and tribulations that you have faced. Oh, yes. You know it all to yourself. Oh, you know it all by yourself. Oh, yes. But we serve a God. Oh, yes. He is the omniscient God. Oh, yes. He is the omnipotent God. Oh, yes. My God. He is the omniscient God. Oh, yes. Jesus. Holy Spirit. O Mekata Basanta Lere Voje Baros Kalamahante Mande ke baro gege gata Maya Sabatabaya Pala Kalabashanta. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for those that are tuning in. Thank you for those that are watching. Thank you for those that are commenting. I see you right now wherever you are. Yes. I see you, Emam Tewera. I see you, Lisa Goero. I yes. see you, Howard Nube. I see you, Renee Dibe. I see you, V. I see you, Emam Tewera. I see you, Apostle Hendricks. I see you wherever you are tuning in from. I see all of you wherever you are joining in from. Yes. Tembo Edward, I see you. Mm, 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 mm. Lusingwira, I see you. I see you. I see you. I see you wherever you are. Juanita Bynum, I see you. I see you wherever you are watching from. Renate Hochobes, I see you. I see you wherever you are. You, wherever you are watching from, I see you. Maka Baba Baba Santa, kindly share this broadcast. Share the broadcast. Just share it. Share it on your. Just click the share button and share. Claim me, Christopher Clays. I see you. Kala Varadoja Mahantos Kepaya Masanta. Beatrice Caesar, I see you. La Kapa Sante. Mm, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. I see you. I see you. Drop a comment. Tell us where you're watching from. Tell us. Send in your prayer request. We are going to pray about it. Yes. Chapala Kataba. Firstly, where in the Bible does it say a man should cover his head when praying? Though, Jay, please go to bed. I hear you. Where in the Bible does it say a man must use blankets to cover himself when he's sleeping? Where in the Bible does it say a man is supposed to wear clothes on a day-to-day -day basis? What is the difference between my cloth and the clothes that you are wearing to cover yourself? You see, these are the kind of questions that are minute. The kind of questions that are uh, that are unnecessary. The kind of questions of people who realize that I might be here and I might also be sleeping, but they choose to be here than to be sleeping. Then they start becoming a nuisance where people are actually serious and praying. Because this is not just about us. It is about God. God yes. I hope I have answered you. I see you. Nesizwa, I see you. I see you. I see you. I see you this night. I see you this night. 
I see you this night. It's just a cloth. Even if it was black, I guess you could have given the same question. Don't think too deep. Thank you, Abednego. For, but for me, it's not just a cloth. This is called a talit. This is a prayer shower. Yes. It is a prayer shower that they used in the ancient days of Israel. Yes. This is the prayer shower that they used when the priests were going before the Lord. Yes. Everything about this prayer shower has got a meaning. Even the notes that you find around the prayer shower have got a meaning. Yes. Because everything has got a meaning. Oh, yes. I like those who are not thinking too deep. But those who are thinking too deep, I even like them more. Because they are the people who are trying to understand, but they are trying to understand by reverse, not by forward. Peter Manjaye, I see you. Manjaye, I see you. Samson Revivalist, what is the red piece of cloth on his head? Just a simple question. It is a talit. Go and Google the word talit. Yeah, when we say seek information, this is what we talk about. Go and Google prayer shower or a talit. I'll explain the talit tomorrow, but for now, we are going to pray. Landi Joy Kopoi, I see you. Tesfai Tsegai, I see you. Apostle Shliseka Fanekela Baloi, I see you. Jane Nembawari, I see you. We want to operate above the system. We want to operate above the system. Oh, yes. I'm frustrated now. I'm frustrated now with that system of credit. Oh, yes. You see, the system of credit in South Africa is so evil. Mm -hmm. It's so evil in such a way that if you have got a, 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 if you have got an account with Woolworths or with or with Truets, and you have got an account that is owing, okay. if you don't pay after a certain period of time, wow. they blacklist you. And once they blacklist you, you are now blacklisted. You are no longer permitted to buy anything on credit. Number one, the system does not permit you not to buy anything from credit. The system does not give you enough salary to buy everything on cash. The system does not give you enough money to buy a house, does not give you enough money to buy a car, does not give you enough money even to afford your next meal. But the system says if you don't pay an account for a certain amount of time, you are going to be blacklisted. That means even if you go to Benz, you can't buy anything. You are blacklisted already. Now, those are the people that I'm talking about right now. People like Nezi Swazaya Duamoy. You need to start operating above the system. If you see that the system is frustrating, you start a business. Oh, yes. Because the business is something that you can control by yourself. Oh, yes. When you see that the system is frustrating you, start your own business. Oh, yes. How do you start a business? Do you know that the phone that I'm carrying right now was once a thought in somebody's mind? Oh, yes. It was once a thought that strikes somebody's head. Oh, yes. And somebody actually realized the thought is not just a thought, but it is God speaking to me. Oh, yes. He sat down and he started perceiving the thought. And the thought became a vision. And when the thought became a vision, the thought was processed in the manufacturing company, in the manufacturing plant, processed and it became a phone. Oh now you go to the warehouse, you find the phone, you think it just came by itself. Somebody had to think. Oh, yes. Start your own business. I was saying it before I started praying. Mm -hmm. And I was saying the system has actually a raised you in such a way that you cannot it's like an abusive boyfriend that's the system an abusive boyfriend will do everything for you but he will be so abusive that once you try to leave you will remember everything that he's doing for you the system is like an abusive boyfriend he beats you all the time but even if you try to leave you will remember that he's the one who is paying for everything that has to do with you that is the system once the system kicks you out, oh it's either two ways. That is why no matter how much you can tell a girlfriend who is in an abusive relationship to leave, they will never leave. Mm. She will only leave with a broken arm or an eye that is taken out. Or she will only live in a coffin. Mm. That is the mindset of the black man. Oh that has God. been conditioned from a young age to this age where we are. You have been conditioned to live in the cage. 
and there is somebody controlling everything that happens in the cage and somebody is sitting somewhere controlling everything that is happening I don't know if I'm talking to somebody here. Yes. Somebody is sitting somewhere, controlling everything that is happening, controlling how your tomorrow is going to be. Do you know that if the system decides that for the next six months, no one is going to school, nobody will go to school? Oh, yes. I will tell you about Muslims. Muslims discovered yeah. what the system can do. They started building Muslim schools where their children are taught the Quran at school and they are also taught the Quran at the mosque. Their children attend Muslim schools. If you look at so many Muslims, they stay in one certain area. Like if you go to Harare, Belvedere is mostly for Indians and most of them are Muslims. They are all confined in one community. They discovered something. Do you know the money that belongs to the Jews only circulates among the Jews? Do you know why Dubai is one of the richest countries today? It is one of the richest countries today because the money in Dubai circulates among the people in Dubai. A Rolls Royce in Dubai is a, is, is a, is a, is a taxi. A Bentley in Dubai is an Uber. A Ferrari in Dubai, you can drive it. You can drive it with sick money. You go, you hire it, you drive it. You hire it for a month, you drive it, and it's yours. You come to Zimbabwe, that's the most expensive car that if somebody drives a Ferrari in Zimbabwe, the whole country will be talking about the Ferrari. Because from where we come from, we are conditioned in our minds that it's impossible to do this. So it's impossible to rise as an African child. It's impossible to rise as long as you are from Africa. That's true. Because from a young age, the schools, That's true. at school, everything that the children are taught at school, that is why these days, condoms are not being introduced to primary schools. Children in South Africa are being given condoms. <clears throat> right. They're in primary school, but they're being given condoms. It is the system teaching something to the new generation. You see, the new generation of uh, children that we have in our time is going to suffer a big deal. The new generation that is coming up now, the 2000s, yes. you see the 2000s are going to suffer a big deal because everything that is called dignity has been wiped away by the system. There is no more dignity anymore. There is no more integrity. There is no more respect. Do you know how much we used to be beaten up when we were growing up? If you go and you come back home after 6 p.m. If you come back home after 5 p.m., the way my mother will whoop me. Do you know how many times I'll be beaten up for not going to church, for refusing to go to church? And I'll be beaten so bad for not going to church. The 2000s, right now, if you beat the child, it's a criminal offense. In UK, it's even worse. So we are raising little, mon little monsters. Little monsters who are growing up with no respect. Little monsters who are growing up with no dignity, no integrity. That is why there are videos you see online of these small, small uh, 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 little boys and girls beating up their parents, doing, uh, doing things that if you look at yourself and you're like, if I'm the one who did this during my time, the way I was going to be beaten up, even the mother from next door was going to be, join my mother to beat me. That is where they say that says it takes a village to raise a child. Today, it takes social media to raise a child. Today, it takes TikTok trends to raise a child. Today, it takes Facebook to raise a child. These days, if you fight with your child, you will not know that you are fighting with her. You will only hear that your child was live and your child was saying, you, you two are fighting. Do you know if you had done that during our time when we were growing up? I remember this one time I was studying at this school. I went to visit my friend. And when I went to visit my friend, and when I went to visit my friend, I was there for a very long time. 
I was there for a very long time. I spent the whole day. I spent the night. I left there around 9 p.m. The way my mother beat me up that day, it was like she was beating a snake that has entered the house. Imagine if you beat this 2K today. Do you, do you realize that the, these kids that are growing up, this, this is a dangerous generation that is the generation of kids who listen to Elon Musk as their role model. The generation of kids who listen to Andrew Tate as their role model. The kids who listen to all these motivational speakers who are reminding them of their rights on a daily basis. Imagine the generation that is coming up. The generation that knows their rights. If you beat her as a mother, she should get you arrested because it's her right not to be beaten as a child. May God help us. May God help us. Oh, may God help us. May God help us. May God help us, wherever you are watching from, may God help us. May God help us overcome this trajectory. May God help us overcome this evil system. May God help us overcome this system that we are living in. May God help us overcome. May God help us overcome everything. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray this morning, Santa. I pray this morning, may God help us overcome. May God help us overcome. In the mighty name of Jesus. May God help us overcome what is coming. There is a generation of robots that is coming. It is a generation where already there's what is called artificial intelligence, AI. Artificial intelligence is so ahead in such a way that it is now way way faster than google My God. it is estimated that the way that this artificial intelligence is going very soon is going to be ahead of the human mind in terms of the iq level and this is the world that we are living in and the robots are already here AI is already in motion. Already, students can't write essays without AI these days. Already, AI is in motion. Very soon, robots are coming. Very soon, a war is going to start between robots and human beings. This sounds like madness because I'm talking about it today. But in the years to come, people will refer to these videos and they'll remember. It sounds like a joke. You see, everybody is saying, I saw a video the other day of Elon Musk saying, what is coming is too dangerous. The season of the artificial intelligence is so dangerous. The robots that they're trying to test and everything, they must stop manufacturing those robots. They must stop that thing because it's going to become a global pandemic. It's going to become a world war. Where the war, if you watch those movies that we watched growing up, where machines were fighting human beings. That's where we are going. It sounds crazy, but that is where we are growing. That is exactly where we are headed to. It's not today. It's not tomorrow. It's not next week. It's not next month. It's not next year. It's not next of next year. It's not even in five years to come, but watch the space. You will see it very soon. Robots will be taking over all the jobs of human beings. Imagine a robot serving you breakfast at a restaurant. It's already happening in China. It's already happening in China right now. If you go to a Chinese restaurant in China, a robot comes and it serves you, it, 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 it serves you breakfast. A robot. It knows where to find you with your order, with the number of your order. It knows. What do you think? Where do you think we are heading to? May God help us this morning. I pray that the Lord is going to help us. I pray that the Lord is going to help you. Wherever you are watching from this morning, we started our prayer at 12 midnight. The time is 2 a.m. I'm going to allow you to sleep. I'm going to allow you to retire to bed so that you can prepare. We want to command the morning before you sleep. Father, in the name of Jesus, we command our morning. We command joy. We command money. We command peace. We command peace of mind. We command joy. We command happiness. We command unity. 
into our morning in the mighty name of Jesus. As the sun rises this morning, it shall rise with my joy. It shall rise with my money. It shall rise with everything that belongs to me. It shall rise with money following me. Runs shall run to me. Pounds shall pound on me. Euros shall be used to me. Pullers shall pull towards me. Runs shall run to me. In the mighty name of Jesus, I declare and I decree. I shall be a money magnet in the name of Jesus. As the sun comes out, I shall be a money magnet. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. May God bless you. May God be with you. I love you all with the love of God. This is Prophet J. Israel Sr., the Lion of Manikalenik. If you have any um, prayer request that you have, anything that you'd like us to pray for, I want, us to, I want you to just take the number that you're seeing up here. Use that number to get in touch with me. Get in touch with me. Let's pray together. Send your prayer request to my DM, and we are going to pray together. I love you all with the love of God, and I'll see you in the next session. Shalom.